What happens if blood isn't circulated well enough? What if certain areas of the body aren't having blood circulated there? In short, it's bad. In this video, we're going to go over some of the most common causes and symptoms of poor circulation you should be aware of, along with some treatment options if you suspect you have poor circulation. Let's begin with the causes of this problem. Poor circulation causes. Poor circulation of blood can lead to a number of negative effects on the body. This leads to symptoms that range from annoying to painful to potentially dangerous. Starting off, peripheral artery disease, or PAD, causes the arteries and veins in your body to become abnormally narrow. It's usually the result of plaque buildup, a symptom of type 2 diabetes, high cholesterol, and or heart disease. The narrowing of the vessels in the body makes it harder for blood to flow normally. Another silent killer is when blood becomes clotted as this can either narrow or entirely block your blood vessels. When a vessel is blocked, you can experience poor circulation. Third, we've got Raynaud's disease, which is similar to PAD in that it results in the narrowing of the blood vessels. However, this disease usually affects the vessels in the hands and feet, which leads to chronic poor circulation in those areas. Of course, there's also type 2 diabetes, which is linked to PAD and can lead to poor circulation. PAD is usually the underlying cause of the poor circulation linked to diabetes. Finally, obesity falls right in line with diabetes, high cholesterol, and excess vessel blockages, all of which can contribute to poor circulation. Poor circulation symptoms. Now that you know some of the most common causes of poor circulation, let's look at the most common symptoms. First, poor circulation mainly affects extremities because the extremities, like the hands and feet, are the farthest away from the heart which is where blood is pumped to and from. Poor circulation makes it harder for your body to pump blood, so things farther away from the heart are likely not going to get much blood flow. You've also got cramping and muscle aches in these extremities from poor blood flow. You'll notice this a lot when you lay down. Another symptom of poor circulation is when your skin isn't getting the nutrients and moisture it needs. This can cause it to dry out quickly, and often even after you apply layers and layers of lotion or drink plenty of water. There are also problems with hair loss from the lack of blood flow to your scalp, headaches, and dizziness, and fatigue from not getting the right amount of nutrients, oxygen, and energy it needs. Lastly, pain in your feet, chest, and head, which means there are larger underlying issues. The good news is that poor circulation can be treated in a number of different ways. Treatment options. Blood thinners are a type of medication that makes it easier for blood to flow even if your vessels are blocked, narrow, or damaged. Blood thinners can also manage blood clots, which are also a common cause of poor circulation. Another treatment option is endoscopic surgeries on your veins and arteries that can clear blockages and widen narrowed vessels to improve blood flow. Of course, if you want a natural treatment, then losing extra weight and managing these conditions with a healthy, low-fat, low-cholesterol diet can help to reduce the symptoms of poor circulation and can potentially reverse your condition. This ties in with specialty exercise routines and exercise moves that are designed specifically to improve blood flow and circulation. And what you've probably seen before that can help a lot is compression socks, leggings, armbands, and shirts are all excellent treatments for poor circulation. These types of garments put pressure on the blood vessels. This pressure helps improve blood flow and circulation, even in problem areas like the feet, legs, and hands. Get treatment. While poor circulation can have a number of underlying causes, it results in the same common symptoms that we've detailed above. If you're experiencing any of these symptoms, don't ignore them. While you might think that known feet aren't a big deal, if you don't treat it, it could lead to serious complications like a heart attack or a stroke. Do you think that your poor circulation is caused by your excess weight? If so, come see our site to get helpful guides to help take control of your lifestyle. And before you go, if you like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.